Moore's law will continue for many more generations. In fact, Moore's law described how our circuits are increasing in complexity and hence we can realize an increased functionality. And this at an ever reducing cost. This can be realized on one hand by geometrical scaling, scaling uh, geometrical scaling which we typically associate with Moore's law. And uh, this can be realized, the big next challenge is uh, EUV lithography, and this is part of our core program. But on the other hand, we also need uh, innovations in terms of new device concepts uh, and even system level concepts. Indeed, a very important part of functionality increase can be realized with new concepts such as 3D stacking, 3D integration of devices, but also completely new device uh, concepts such as spin wave devices or innovations in terms of uh, system design. iMIC is pioneering all these, uh, in all these areas and uh, this is evidenced uh, by the fact that in fact on most of the leading conferences such as IDM, Philosophy Technology, ISSEC, iMIC is dominating those conferences with the maximum number of contributions. Everybody is talking about the Internet of Things. In our programs, we're trying to morph the Internet of Things towards an intuitive Internet of Things, where we integrate much more intelligence at the sensor node. We are working on new sensor concepts, such as millimeter wave radars, which we are uh, realizing through uh, RF CMOS, and this allows us to integrate the entire system into, uh, combined with the radar. We're also developing uh, air quality monitoring systems where, again, we're trying to bring a lot of intelligence at the node level. During this year, we integrated our multi-sensor platform into next-generation prototypes of smartwatches, uh, integrated in clothing uh, and uh, next-generation, more comfortable EEG headset. In our life science program, we are using this phenomenal scaling capability of nanoelectronics in order to develop like next generation devices for future diagnostics, for drug discovery. We are making like new DNA sequencing uh, devices, uh, cell sorters, which would allow uh, like early cancer detection. In fact, the scaling capability allows us to integrate like a full laboratory on a single chip. There is of course an enormous wave of consolidation. The result is that at the leading edge there will be fewer partners for us. Therefore our strategy is clearly to become more strategic towards the leaders. We have to deliver more value to those companies and this by improving our operational excellence by focusing on those aspects which are really crucial to them. On the other hand, we're increasing also our value proposition up and down the value chain towards the suppliers, but also towards fabulous companies, even system companies. And clearly, our business is growing enormously in these new application domains, such as the Internet of Things, the Internet of Health, the Internet of Power. It's Amex's ambition to play a prominent role in the European R&D scene. In fact, we strongly contribute to programs such as Horizon 2020, Excel, the CAT program. In fact, one of the challenges in Europe is to bridge this value of that from academic research to industrial innovation. Well, that's exactly the area where IMEC can contribute. This year, our staff exceeds more than 2,300 people. What attracts these people to IMEC, I believe, is uh, the uh, unique R&D infrastructure. Uh, probably difficult to find anywhere else in the world. But also the culture that we have established, a very open, multicultural atmosphere, stimulating creativity, uh, an atmosphere of passion for research. I'm convinced that IMEC's impact to the region is increasing every year. In fact, just because of our critical mass, our economical impact is increasing. We are creating jobs for more than 5,000 people in and around IMEC. This is a combination of direct and indirect jobs. We're collaborating also with many SMEs. 
uh, with many local companies and we're providing them access, low barrier access to a worldwide ecosystem to the most advanced technology. We also create many startups. Uh, this year we've created three startups and we have two more in the pipeline. In fact, with the Internet of Things, we are convinced that technology, nanoelectronics, will provide innovation to nearly every industrial sector. We believe that this is going to create even more opportunities for collaborations, for bringing innovation to the Flemish industry.